want to make it even more tasty, but I don't like spinach, and I don't think we've got spinach here. But if you do have spinach at home, you could add some spinach, and only if you like spinach, if you know. And now we can, and also you need to wait until it's brown like this. That way, that after that, you know it's cooked. So, and now we're going to do the master part of this. You're going to add now, you're going to add this. You're going to pour it. Nope, nope, nobody, nope, nobody, nobody, nobody. <laughs> Don't do that. My help. Sorry. I forgot to add the, um, I forgot to take out the fork. So now you need to pour it all in. Oh, gruesome it together. And now you need to wait until it's um okay now you add the cheese very quickly um because um it will simply uh turn into like you can spread it around the cheese cheese don't be you also don't want it to be fried Give you the flavor of cheese if you want. If you want. And now, all you need to do is wait. It won't take that long. So you you can be very fast with this process. You can add as much as as much eggs as you can, depending. And the more eggs you add, the bigger it will get. Um, we recommend using this. This type of pan, we recommend it. We recommend it. We recommend it. And that is all for the cooking video. But we will just show you how long this ta takes to cook. For to test it, you can get this your spoon and touch it. And if it's liquidy, um, you need to give it more time. I think you you can touch. Now, when you see um, these parts, you you know it's beginning to soften. We can, and also use a tool like this one, which looks like a pizza, but it's actually made for omelets. Um, to take it out, scrape it on, put it on a plate. We recommend using flat ones, but we're going to use this one because it looks good. No, like this one. And now, let's see, let's, let's see. It looks softened. Looks like, um, it's almost softened. You need to wait until the whole area is a flat egg, scrambled one. If you don't know how to make scratch.